I'm standing with Mark Siegel, and he's just finished opening the first LGBT sensitive senior center built with public funds. All with public funds. All with public funds anywhere in the United States. So it's open, Mark. How do you feel? This is to your GLF sisters and brothers. Thank you for teaching me how to be tenacious. Best college in the world. And what's the next challenge? Uh, for all of us. I don't know. For all of us? Um, getting these built across the country because it's our generation uh, that created community. And it's our generation that needs these buildings right now. We're not all rich white men. Uh, well, I personally want to just thank you because a lot of people don't understand, a lot of younger people don't understand what we gave up to come out and organize a movement that, that was, is there to change their lives. The first out generation, meaning us guys, uh, in our quest to create a community and take care of the most endangered, lost two things. A, many of us lost our family, which is what you count on when you're a senior, and number two, you couldn't get a decent job, therefore you couldn't get a nice big 401k. So you become a senior and you don't have anything. And we're the pioneers. Pioneers deserve to live in dignity in their senior years. And that's what this is all about. And one of the reasons I did this is because you guys are in my heart and taught me everything. Well, what did it feel like when, when Susan Silverman uh, applied and is now a resident of the senior center. Uh, it just made my heart so thrilled. Um, to have GLF people living in the building is a dream come true. It was the reason I built it. You're going to save a spot for me, Mark? Absolutely. For any GLF person, you can high on the list. Okay. Thank you.